We begin at 11 with video you will only see on News 4. The January 6th defendant arrested last week outside President Barack Obama's D.C. home live streamed his adventure inside a local school. Federal prosecutors say he was there to watch a January 6th fan film in the gym. And the details of this case get even stranger. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sean Yancey. And I'm Leon Harris. Jim is off tonight. Newly filed court documents show Taylor Toronto threaded a path through D.C. and Montgomery. Montgomery County in the days prior to his arrest. News Force Jackie Benson details allegations of bizarre and dangerous behavior beginning at Piney Branch Elementary School. I heard Piney Branch Elementary School. This video showing Taylor Toronto and others walking in the door across a mat that reads Piney Branch Elementary School was pulled from his YouTube channel after his arrest. But the two-hour live stream, court documents say it was June 18th, was recorded by one of a dedicated group of people who have been trying for months to alert federal and local law enforcement to Toronto's presence and that of other people facing January 6th charges. This tweet, with an imprinted date of June 14th, two weeks before he was arrested outside former President Obama's D.C. home, tags the FBI's field office. Just in case you're interested, you can find Toronto living and sleeping in his van outside the D.C. jail. These are images of the weapons law enforcement seized from his van after he was arrested. They say 18 guns registered to him remain at large. I've been trying to bring as much attention as possible, as well as other D.C. residents who are very much worried about these uh, you know, insurrectionists. It's a stage. That makes sense. Patricia Aguino is a D.C. ANC commissioner. She also regularly counter protests at what's called Freedom Corner, a space outside the D.C. jail where people sympathetic to jailed January 6th defendants maintain what is an almost permanent presence. She says she and others repeatedly tried to tell anyone they could about Toronto's presence in D.C. After his arrest last Thursday, federal officials said they had been unable to charge him with crimes related to breaching the Capitol because they had not been able to locate him. I've seen Tail Toronto multiple times, and it's only, it's extremely worrisome that that nothing is being done about Taylor Toronto until he actually filmed himself behind the Barack Obama's, uh, President Barack Obama's residence. A spokesperson from Montgomery County Public Schools says they are reviewing security camera video for Piney Branch Elementary School. Wow. So this man was pretty much hiding in plain sight here. What, uh, what do we know about this Piney Branch Elementary School and why he would have gone there? We, the court documents claim that Taranto chose Piney Branch Elementary School because of its proximity to the home of Maryland Congressman Jamie Raskin, wow. who is a member of the January 6th committee. And the people we talked to tonight, there are many of them who did not make our peace, have been trying to let local and federal law enforcement know about the presence of these people. Uh, it's stunning. I mean, and, and maybe we haven't gotten there yet. Do if local law enforcement explained how come they did not see or know about all of this? The the um, court papers filed today basically repeat the line of because he was considered uh, no fixed address. He was, I guess, you know, living mm -hmm. in the van that they did not have an address to go to to arrest him until he was outside President Obama's house. That's just troubling on so many so many levels here. Absolutely uh, it is. Obviously that story's got some way to go. Jackie Benson, good reporting on that. Thank you so much for Thank that. Thank you, Jackie.